Hello relatives, this is Dr. H. Welcome to this week's Schlagbite for the week November 19th, 2007, entitled Miracles Without Fairy Tale Endings. You may have heard of the celebrated case of Carl and Clarence Aguirre, Filipino twins conjoined at the top of their heads called craniopagus. This condition is so rare it happens once in 10 million births and there are no more than 60 who have undergone separation surgery. In the past, the twins were separated in a single operation that often resulted in serious neurological setbacks for at least one of the children. The procedure is now done in multiple stages and was developed by surgeons at Montefiore Hospital in New York City. Carl and Clarence had surgery in 2003 and did pretty well. The success of the procedure was touted on Montefiore's website as the first ever separation of craniopagus twins where both twins survived with no neurological damage or deficit incurred from the surgery. It generated headlines all over the world and the surgeons were hailed as miracle doctors. The mother repeatedly expressed her gratitude for the medical care and attention and support that she received. It's four years later, and Mrs. Aguirre is still in the United States without her family because the boys need intensive care and more surgery. The Aguirres have been supported by the generosity of many, many Americans. Montefiore Hospital alone has provided multi-millions and is still providing medication and supplies. The townspeople where they live have provided them with food and nonprofits have provided them with a home. Lawyers have pro bono set up trust funds and are now dealing with their expiring visitors visas. The boys are still in diapers at five years old. Carl can speak a few words, but they are often unintelligible. And because of his impaired left side, he crawls, dragging his limp left limbs behind him. Clarence can walk and talk, although his speech is somewhat garbled. Neither boy eats well, so they are fed through feeding tubes throughout the night. The boys will require more surgery to close the holes in their heads. Mrs. Aguirre is anxious, depressed, and has ulcers. Nobody planned for such a long haul. It's not the happy ending that everybody had hoped for and was led to believe. There is a price for medical miracles. We can separate conjoined twins. We can even revive the dead. But it comes with a high price, physically, financially, and emotionally. If we continue on this road to mer medical miracles, we can't just do the miraculous interventions without also providing for long-term care because not all medical miracles have fairy tale endings. We can hardly afford health insurance in this country. 50 million Americans without it, employers no longer providing it. We need to find some way as a community to decide what we can do so that we can live in peace and joy together. Have a great week. We are all together. Nobody makes it alone. I say this for all my relations. Mitakwiasi.